Hey everyone, welcome to another berry video. Um, we have this set of berries that we are going to do. I thought um, we could do these in a sort of lightish purpley colour um, to be a little bit different to some of the ones that we've done already. So I'm going to start actually with a lilac colour on them. There's only three berries actually on this, um, this little um, mm, twig. I guess. I'm going to colour this in quite a lot of layers so it shows up. It's quite a pinky colour actually, isn't it? I think it'll be fine. And I'm going to darken it a little bit with a more bluey purple. Maybe that's the right. Um, term. Oops. I'm going to use the purple iris. I don't want it really dark. I don't want them dark like the, the blackberries. I want them to look a bit different to those. But I want them to be a bit more purpley than the sort of berries that we put at the top that were quite pink. I'm putting this around the edge quite thickly and then less towards the middle of the berry. I'm a little bit um, unsure as to what to do for the leaves, but maybe we'll hmm, let's have a think because that is it really for our berries. Um, let's have a go with our emerald green. It's quite a nice um, green, I think, to go with these berries. <clears throat> so here is the emerald green. And uh, I just put a layer down like I have been. And then we'll do a little more. I'll decide whether I want to use a darker colour or just a little more of this colour once I've got it all down. So I think by the time um, I finish these you'll be one and truly ready to move on from colouring berries and I'll find something different. I actually think I need to choose a different um, Johanna Basford book. I've done loads from Rooms of Wonder which has been fantastic fun but I know not everyone even has that book so uh, I think I need to choose a different book. I've got a couple of her others on the go I've got World of Flowers, um, Lost Ocean, and obviously the planner, but you're getting those anyway, whether you like it or not. <laughs> um, World of Flowers, Lost Ocean, Miniature Enchanted Forest, I think those might be the only three I've got on the go at the minute. I have got other copies of some of her other books, but uh, I haven't started those yet like um, Worlds of Wonder I got I got a second copy before I'd even finished the first because I loved it and I knew I wanted to redo some of the pictures right away but I haven't started it I want to finish a few books before I start more books really and I am heading that way so that's good like um, Rooms of Wonder I calculated I'll get finished by the time Johanna's new book comes out now, I'm going to do these flowery bits here, quite a lot of layers to get them quite dark. Yeah, according to Amazon, her new book's out on the 7th of September, which is odd because normally it's October when her books come out, but uh, we'll have to wait and see. Obviously, she hasn't said anything about it yet. She tends not to mention it for a while. I think it puts pressure on her. It must be quite a lot of pressure to see that your book's coming out on that day. She may not have even finished it yet. So I'm just colouring each side of that vein part and I'm going to do that on all the leaves. Well, this one hasn't got a vein so I'll just colour it a bit more in the middle and we'll just see whether that looks okay without using a second colour. Just trying something a little bit different. 
and simple really. But I'm looking forward to uh, getting my new bookcase and being able to organise my books so that I can actually see what I've got. I think I might rediscover some books that I've forgotten I had that are sort of put in between other books and I can't see them and things like that. So that'll be interesting. And I'll be able to sort of move them around and organise them. I thought I could even put bookmarks in them um, every time I do a page in a one so that it's easier for my completed pages. But I think that might it might spoil the books to have bookmarks in them for too long. I don't know. And I might well, I was gonna say I might run out of bookmarks, but husband's always make me new he'll make me new bookmarks. Right. Hmm, I think what I want is quite a dark colour. So I'm gonna grab the oops, sage green and I'm going to only use it on these bits these sort of side bits of the leaves where we can see the a sort of turned over bit just so they look a little bit different to the rest I'm trying to make them a little darker at each end than towards the centre like that and then we want our white to uh, do the shine on the berries again I'm going to follow Rita's uh, markings so she's done the, these circles and then she's done a lot of dots on this one which turn into lines which is an interesting way to do it makes them a little bit different to the others too which I rather like there we go. And we're also going to do this one. Again, I haven't planned, so I'm just having a think what colour. Um, I was thinking maybe we could do blueberries for this one. Um, I know it doesn't, they don't look like them. The ones above probably look more like them, but we've got blueberry blue. So let's use it and see what happens. I'm just excited to do something blue. So I'm going to um, start with a light layer. It's very blue, isn't it? Blueberries aren't really blue. Am I making any sense? Once we layer it up, it'll look very different. But I just want to get a little layer down, have a look. I'm just checking you're all in shot, I think so. Right, I'm going to do what I've been doing with the others really, go around the edge in a darker layer, so layer it up a lot, go round and round a good few times, and then round less towards the centre. Just do the same on all of them now. You might want them to be a little bit darker if you want them to look really like blueberries. I think you would need to add in some black. But I think I'm going to just leave them like this because I think they look rather pretty in this blue colour. And different. We've got some with black on already. So I think it's quite nice to have something a little bit different. There we go. remembering while I was colouring then to lower my shoulders a bit. When your shoulders rise up you feel stressed. You just lower them back a little bit. It makes you automatically feel a little bit more relaxed. It's rather nice. We should be relaxing while we're colouring. That's usually why we're all doing it. So uh, helps. Hopefully um, all of you find it relaxing anyway. That's why I try not to make it too complicated, unless I find it difficult. I, I, although I like to learn new things, and um, 
challenge myself. I certainly don't want it to be stressful. And I also colour in different ways according to my mood. Hmm, what colour leaves go with that? Um, hmm, I was thinking the ocean blue might work, but I think, don't know if it's green enough. Hang on, I'm just going to scribble it on my scrap paper. Oh no, that's definitely a blue. I don't want blue leaves. Um, what's this colour? Let's try the fern green. I think it might just work. It's quite dark. We'll give it a go. I'm going to use it lightly to start with. And then have a think about whether I want to use another colour with it or whether it's okay. I actually think it's going to work quite well on its own because I think it's one of those colours that looks reasonably pale but once you layer it up it can go quite dark so it works on its own you know you can get a lot of different shades out of it some colours don't work as well for that particularly pale colours with a yellow or something even if you put it down quite intensely it looks it just looks like you've got a thicker layer of the same colour Whereas some colours, it, you can even look like you've got several different colours, even though you've only used one. You get to know your colours. It's just practice. Oh, that sounds a bit rough, doesn't it? I think the um, lead is a little bit uneven at that point. I just don't like a top of a sweet pea. But... Uh, Sweet peas don't have berries, they have pods. They look just like normal peas, except I assume they're not edible, the seeds of a sweet pea. But I don't know, I've never investigated. But of course you can keep the seeds and then plant them, get some more sweet peas. It's odd, isn't it, that pea flowers are beautiful, but they're always white. And someone's obviously decided they would breed. I'm going to ignore the vein in these, just to make them different to the rest. And I'm just going to make them darker at the base. So someone has obviously thought, those flowers are pretty, but they're all white. Let's make them a nicer colour. So you bred them to make the flowers pretty. Whereas I suspect the peas that we eat have been bred to be big and tasty, um, high yielding and that sort of thing. Although I suppose you would want lots of flowers on a, uh, a sweet pea that you're using for um, pretty, to look pretty. I remember when we used to, we used to often go for a little walk in the evening, if it's a warm summer evening, like go for a little walk around the block as we would call it. It's just around the neighbor, um, sort of neighbouring street. And uh, there was one house that used to have loads of sweet peas on tall canes in their front garden. It just looked delightful. My mum sometimes grew them too, but we would tend to grow vegetables a bit more. Um, she was always like to grow runner beans. They've got lovely red flowers. And um, sometimes she would grow beetroot. It's the only root vegetable that grew in the garden. I remember growing carrots and picking them when they were as small as my baby finger and just pulling rubbing the dirt off and eating them but um, if we let them get too big they just wouldn't they didn't get big I don't know what happened they just didn't get big so it was a bit strange so I'm just fiddling with this with this one colour and I'm quite happy with that simplicity so I'm not going to do much more but I'm going to use my white again we've got actually I'm just going to brush this off first these pencils leave a bit of debris there we go. So um, they, they're marked for us. So I'm going to just follow those marks. Oh, I haven't done those bits at the bottom of each berry. I'll do those in a minute. This one hasn't got a circle on. Nor has it. Oops, I missed them. Hey, I'm not going to worry. Don't tell anyone, will you? 
<laughs> so I'm going to use the fern green just to do these little blips. Sometimes I would do them brown like it's a dead flower, but I think it can look nice if it just blends in with the leaves as well, which is why I'm doing it like that. So uh, that's that's that. So we finished the page now. So let me just move my pencils out of the way. Oops, sorry. And then I'll move the book a little bit and we'll come out so you can see the whole thing. There we go. So that was a lot of fun. So thank you all for indulging me and letting me do my favourite sort of berries. If you look across here, we've got another one that I finished. This one I like the sort of olivey colours. I don't know what pencils I use for this. Um, probably polys actually. So I like this sort of oranges and reds and yellows and, and olivey colours. But this one we've got a bit more of a variety. So all sorts of different ones. So we'll have a new series starting or a new page picture. It might be a one-off video tomorrow. I've got absolutely no idea what it's going to be. It'll be a surprise to me and to you. But for now, um, thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope you have a really lovely day and happy colouring.